everyone. So I'm unexpectedly back with another video today. I wanted to make a follow-up video to the video I posted the other day, specifically about the more nuanced improvements that I noticed now that I've been doing the carnivore diet since I stopped being vegan in May of 2021 and started the carnivore diet by the beginning of 2022. So I've been on the carnivore diet, I guess, for almost two years now. And there are definitely some things that I notice a lot more now that weren't so much benefits in the beginning. So I'll get to all of that. As a disclaimer, I am filming this without any edits. I'm not gonna be cutting this video. I wanna just talk about it and get it up. So you might hear my cat sneezing in the background. You might hear the chicken I am currently cooking. I hope it's not too bad. Otherwise I probably won't end up posting this, but it shouldn't be. So first of all, I did want to mention, I know a large topic in my video that I posted a few days ago was about how I basically don't want to offend vegans. And I wanted to make one other comment in regards to that because again, I, on a, I, I pretty frequently get comments of vegans claiming that I'm just hating on them by talking about my story, which I've never said anything actually, actually like vitriolic or have attempted to attack vegans, like just based on the fact that they're vegan. So I do want to say, to clarify, that if you take me talking about my testimony as hate and you think I'm just grifting and attempting to lie to everyone just to get fame on the internet, which again, I don't... If that was my goal, I don't know why I'd be sitting here with no makeup on in my kitchen with bad lighting if my only goal was internet fame and recognition. But anyway, if you take me talking about my testimony as hate, that highlights something about your intelligence and I don't apologize for that. I have been a little aggressive with some people and I did say in the, my other video that I feel it's completely justified, but I don't necessarily want people that I know to get the wrong impression about me because of that. But on the other hand, if you think me talking about my testimony is hating on you, if you're vegan, then that's your own problem. This, I'm, I'm telling what happened to me when I stopped being vegan. I'm recalling from memory how my health improved and how my ulcerative colitis remains in remission. If you're not okay with that, that is a you problem. There are so many other people that have found my channel that I'm sure ben that also have autoimmune disorders that are finding it beneficial and learning things that they can also do to hopefully benefit their own autoimmune condition. That's why I'm here. I'm not here for you if you think I'm just hating on vegans. That is not my goal. That is not what I'm doing. And you're not gonna gaslight me into believing that's what I'm doing. So you guys can go cry in the corner while everybody else is here for a, an actual valuable reason. So just had to get that out of the way. So some things that I do notice that I didn't notice early on, um, you know, just to give a brief overview of the benefits that I have experienced since starting the carnivore diet specifically, has first of all been, it is the only way of eating that has gotten my ulcerative colitis into actual remission. I continued experiencing symptoms of colitis up until I did start the carnivore diet, which were mainly just, by the time that I had, I had stopped being vegan for a few months and then started carnivore, I wasn't experiencing severe symptoms anymore, but I would say the blood in my stool went away the stricter that I got with just eating animal products, like unprocessed animal products. But it was really just diarrhea and constipation that were lasting by the time that I started carnivore that corrected themselves once I got onto a strict diet like that. Otherwise, um, as I, I did even highlight this in my last video, if I eat anything that causes any, even like minor amounts of inflammation, my digestion is one of the things that is affected, not severely, but I will get diarrhea and I will continue to get constipation. It is only if I keep my diet without seasonings and the you know highest quality unprocessed animal products that I don't get inflammation and my digestion remains normal. So that is again, a whole re one of the biggest reasons that I continue to eat a very strict carnivore diet. Besides those two things that I did mention, 
that are carnivore, which is organic coffee and organic lemon juice that I just put in my water. And I believe that it is good for the vitamin C and the electrolytes. So anyway, my colitis going into remission was one of the biggest benefits. My skin, so my skin, I definitely experienced some reverse aging. You can refer to some of my other videos where I have pictures of what my skin used to look like. I used to have huge bags under my eyes. The carnivore diet, again, as I did also say in my last video, is not a miracle diet. It's not going to completely, you know, be the fountain of youth and make me look like 18 again. When I stopped being vegan, I probably looked conservatively about five years older than I do now. Not only that, but my complexion changed. My complexion used to be like yellowish when I was vegan. So my skin, yeah, my skin benefited hugely. My, as I did say just now, my complexion changed. It's much more rosy now, which is definitely my natural complexion versus it was yellowish to the point where other people noticed. And I actually did have one instance happen where somebody I knew told me that my complexion was that way because I was vegan and I just didn't want to listen at the time. But now it is very rosy and it looks much more natural. It is also, my skin is very clear on a daily basis, but I do get breakouts, especially when I introduce anything that gives me inflammation. And, you know, I've, I've stated it so many times now that it feels redundant to repeat, but most things give me inflammation. Besides, as I did highlight, lemon juice and coffee, almost every other plant food gives me inflammation. Any type of seasoning besides Redmond's Real Salt, I haven't really been able to find anything that doesn't cause me inflammation. And I should mention too that sometimes I will have like, I've had like say organic dill on something and I'll think that it's fine. And then within like, if I have it for consecutive days, I do start to notice issues, um, which again are the things I highlighted, constipation, diarrhea, um, sometimes slight digestive pain, and breakouts especially. Um, breakouts and like ro a rosacea type of effect on my skin, even though it's not severe, I do notice that when I have anything outside of the foods that I highlighted. So my skin has benefited greatly from eating this way. And again, it's another big reason for me to stick to this way of eating because I don't have to worry about breakouts and my skin continues, it seems like, to improve. I also would say that my anxiety has done a complete 180 from when I was vegan. I was a university student when I, for a good amount of time while I was vegan. And a lot of the time at the end of the semester, we would have to do presentations. And I was usually so paralyzed with anxiety that I could barely get up in front of the room and speak in front of everyone. And even when I did, I wouldn't have a clear train of thought because I was so in my head and so anxious. And I would have thought that that was just a thing that runs in my family because it totally does, but something that I couldn't do anything about, which, you know, I was told the same thing about colitis, that it was genetic and I couldn't do anything about it, but hell, it's been in remission for two years from a lifestyle change. So anxiety seems to be like the same thing. With my anxiety, again, it's done a 180 I would say it's not like I never get anxiety anymore but it is so much easier to manage and on a daily basis I'm so much more level-headed and focused than I was ever when I was vegan and one of the criticisms that I've got time and time again was oh well when you were vegan you must have been saying this stuff also and I was but there wasn't, it, it was like cognitive dissonance because while I was saying, oh, all of these things have improved for me so much as a vegan, I was not seeing those real world benefits in my physical appearance, in my mood, in my health to back it up. So I might've been saying, oh, I, I feel so much better, which that was really the only thing I ever said. And that I thought being vegan was healthier because I did believe it at the time. But otherwise I was never out here claiming, like to be completely honest with you, that my skin improved, that my, any anything really about my physical appearance, I guess I also did believe that meat and dairy were fattening. So that was another thing I, I guess I did 
try to say was a benefit was that I never needed to worry about my weight while I was obsessed with counting calories, while again, I had no mental soundness. I always felt like, I always had severe cravings. So again, my point is, is that I was attempting to say that I was having these benefits as a vegan when they weren't actually there. I was trying, I was lying to myself basically while with the carnivore diet, I can see concretely in my physical appearance and in the way I'm feel and see it in the way I'm feeling on a daily basis to know that these benefits are real. My skin, I cannot <laughs> make up what my skin looks like. My skin is clear. My skin looks younger than when I stop being vegan. So again, it's just another, it's another criticism people try to throw at me, but there's no, there's no real weight behind it. Um, because again, I, I can show these things literally on camera and you know, you can either not believe me or you can take my word about how I'm feeling, but I, it's, you know, all I can really say because it's the truth. So again, my mental soundness and my anxiety have improved greatly. My ability to focus has improved greatly. I've seen so many benefits in my actual life because of these things. I was able to get out a clothing line about a month ago. And I do, as I did touch on in my other video, I have a whole other platform and I've been able to work on that so much uh, with so much more, uh, you know, create content with so much more quality because of that. So I've seen a lot of benefits um, and I've also been working on my second novel, which is coming out better than I ever could have imagined. Again, because I can focus, I can retain things much better. Overall, I'm obviously just feeling so much better. But those are the main things that I noticed, I would say like right away when I started the carnivore diet, those are the main benefits. I would also say that in my physical appearance, in terms of my physique, I saw myself lean out. I felt very bloated and puffy. I was in no way overweight when I stopped being vegan, but I felt very bloated and puffy. So I saw that all go away. I've been able to tone my body and just maintain my weight without having to worry about how much I eat versus when I was vegan, I felt like I always had to stop myself from eating too much because my cravings just never went away. So those are the main benefits I experienced with, uh, when, you know, initially when I started the carnivore diet. Lately, I have seen I have continued to see benefits in terms of PMS. So I did notice this early on, but it, it was kind of back and forth though. My PMS overall improved greatly, but I would essentially, when I was vegan, I had severe uh, cramps when I would get my period. That has completely went away to the point where I honestly don't even know when I'm getting my period sometimes. Be like I know because of the time of the month, but otherwise I don't feel any physical side effects of getting my period. So it kind of surprises me sometimes. And it's a huge improvement because as again, I did mention uh, as a vegan, I would get severe debilitating cramps that would sometimes I, I would not be able to get out of bed. So that's been an, uh, a benefit that I've seen improve even more so as the months have gone on. Other than that, I have definitely, uh, I've seen benefits in my hair, my hairline. Um, so this is another whole thing that vegans try, try to criticize me for and use against me. They would say that my hairline is really bad. I've not only actually seen hair continue to come in on my hairline and my hair that it was already thick is only thicker than it was when I stopped being vegan. Although I did, I have mentioned in past videos, I felt like I was starting to lose hair, especially like probably all over my head, but especially at the crown, it was noticeable. But vegans have pointed that out, not, I guess, probably not realizing too, like, oh, like, you know, your hairline is horrible, yada, yada, that I literally used to shave the side of my head. So that was something that I chose to do. And I don't know if it is kind of like a, a psychological thing when your mental health improves. I'm not trying, I, you know, I don't even want to go here because I don't want to say that like body modification is bad. I, I think like you do you and do whatever you want to do in terms of that. A lot of like tattoos and crazy hairstyles look cool on people, but it's worth 
pointing out that after I had stopped being vegan and had started the carnivore diet and in saying that I'm attempting to tie it together with my mental health improving, I'm not just saying those two things made me decide this, but I'm saying my mental health overall improving, it made me start to not really like the way that my hair looked anymore. And I don't, I don't, I, you know, I, I can't explain that psychologically. Uh, and I mean, in terms of my, um, the side of my head being shaved, I used to think it looked awesome. And I still think it looks pretty cool on most people that have it. I thought it looked cool when I had it, but again, I, it did start to bother me that like this area of my head, which obviously you can see my hair is like coming back in and you know, it's, it's a process of growing it out, but I started to not really like that this area there, you know, was, it didn't have hair there. It, it, again, it made me critical of my own hairline. So that was in a nutshell why I started to grow it out. And now it's, you know, in the process of that, I can't wait for it to actually be grown out and I can cut all this dead hair off. Um, so my hairline has improved, uh, which was something that I didn't really expect. Um, it has continually improved. Uh, I've seen it improve, uh, especially in like the last few months. Like I, like I did mention, I saw a lot of benefits right away, but this is something that's been a more prolonged benefit. I've also seen benefits in my nails. I used to have really bad nail ridges and I don't get them at all really anymore. Like maybe once in a while I will, but I used to get them all the time. And my nails and hair grow so much faster than they did when I was vegan. And again, uh, I mentioned already that my hair just looks like it's thicker overall and it feels more dense. And I felt the same thing too about my nails. Um, even my skin, like everything feels more dense. And like, <laughs> I, I don't know how else to describe it. Like the collagen being back in my diet, and I know vegans will say, well, your body can produce collagen. It doesn't matter either way i've seen these things improve and they just you know everything from my nails to my hair everything seems more sturdy and again overall healthier another benefit that i've seen that is more nuanced is my teeth i not only my my mouth feels cleaner and like i don't know how to describe it i guess the way that i the way that would be best to describe it is when I was vegan and I wasn't necessarily thinking about how much carbohydrates I was eating, I was eating, um, I was, you know, eating things with sugar. I was, I, I, I did always consider myself to have a pretty balanced diet, but again, I, I didn't, hadn't, yeah, I hadn't cut carbohydrates out of my diet. I obviously couldn't as a vegan, but my mouth, you, I'm sure you guys know what I mean. My mouth, um, had that, uh, that feeling like when you um, when you eat something sugary and then like some time passes and you and it, it just doesn't feel clean. I don't know how else to describe it, but my mouth no longer ever feels that way. And especially like I would have, I, I used to think things like beef tallow when I was vegan, if you, I didn't even know it was a thing when I was vegan, but if somebody said like, oh, I put beef tallow in my coffee, which I do, or I eat beef tallow, to get some added fat for the day, I would have thought that was disgusting. But lo and behold, now when I do eat it, it not only automatically decreases my anxiety if I have any. I, I did a podcast today that I had a, some anxiety before. I ate beef tallow and I immediately felt more calm. So anyway, but my point is, is that things like beef tallow and animal fat leave my mouth feeling clean to the point where I have this clean feeling in my mouth that I, I don't like, I don't even have a better word to describe it. It's just, um, like very clean and like almost sanitary. I don't, I hope you guys get what I mean. Um, so there's that. I, I haven't had any cavities. I luckily, I guess genetically have pretty healthy teeth because I never even got a cavity while I was vegan. I somehow managed to avoid that. But towards the end of me being vegan, I was starting to notice that my teeth looked kind of translucent. And I did have a tooth chip also when I was vegan. And needless to even say, that hasn't happened since. My teeth, my teeth are another thing that feel more dense. I don't have another way of describing it. I hope you guys get what I mean. But they just feel more dense and like sturdy. And again, uh, 
I know I just said this, but no cavities since I started the carnivore diet. My teeth are, I would say, in the best health uh, as they've ever been. Um, as a vegan, I, I've never really considered myself to have bad teeth, but I was definitely, you know, I had more plaque on a daily basis when I would go to the dentist and they would clean my teeth. They were definitely not as like clean as they are now. And I know vegans are probably gonna assume that I just didn't clean my mouth. No, I brush my teeth twice a day every day, but it just didn't make a difference with the diet I was eating back then. So I would say those are the main more nuanced benefits that I've seen. Definitely let me know down in the comments if you have noticed the same things, if you've been doing the carnivore diet long-term. As I did mention, I do this way of eating because it causes the least inflammation and the least issues for me on a daily basis after a lot of trial and error. I am not even saying though that I'm going to eat this way forever. If something else, if, if eating more plant foods eventually does work out better for me and I can tolerate them, then I will. But right now I am totally okay with continuing to eat this way because it just, again, leads to the least amount of problems for me. I reference Michaela Peterson a lot because I feel like I am kind of in the same position as her, although she, I believe, does have to eat even more strict than I do. But she eats that way to simply not be sick anymore. And I am in the same boat, so I am completely okay with eating this way for now because it truly leads to me feeling my best. So again, um, I, I'm going to try to get back to more of your questions and comments on my other video as well. But if you guys do have any questions, if you do have any comments, if you want to leave anything to relate to these benefits that I've talked about, then definitely leave it down below. Um, I know that I've talked a lot about the benefits and people probably do want to know about the more negative things. I, I was thinking about that the other day. And really the only negative thing about the carnivore diet is that I can't really go out to a restaurant and I, like, I have to be very mindful of what I get. I have to make sure that things don't have seasonings. It's restrict restrictive in that sense, but it is something that I am willing to deal with because again, I feel my best on a daily basis because of it. Otherwise I really can't reference a negative thing about it, a negative way or thing, you know, thing that it's caused me. But anyway, yeah, let me know your comments down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching.